I, I'm a chemist through and through, but yeah, I, I don't know how we will go forward teaching this. It doesn't take very much to make one of our more disadvantaged students stumble. And no matter how well we teach or how well we try to expand on that, it, it's like from a standing start. So it's really quite difficult. The children don't feel that chemistry is for them. They don't link it to everyday life. And that put up the barriers straight away because I walked in and they were like, don't like chemistry, can't do chemistry. I don't need chemistry was a big one, which I thought was, was quite like quite a shame because I don't think they understand the value that chemistry has in society. But it was just because from the background they're from, from being disadvantaged and the culture that they have at home, it's not really a learning environment, a cult, like cultivating that kind of love of learning. And then as soon as lockdown happened, um, that, that week the kids just, they, they switched off from there. I mean, they had no access to anything to read, apart from what we provided. They didn't have pens and paper, and they certainly did not have internet access. Our head teacher asked us all to contribute our petrol money so that the kids were being fed. It's not that the kids are not able, it's not that the kids don't want to learn, but um, I can't imagine studying hungry. But some of our students are, and during COVID, that was really exacerbated. You know that moment when a student looks at practicals, doing a practical, and they suddenly realise, ah, yeah. We are teaching it, we're teaching it as best we can, but the interest, the spark, the joy of chemistry is gone because the practical work is so limited now. I, I just feel like they're going to be so much more disadvantaged when they're going for jobs or when they're looking at what they could do because of this time that's been missed, because they, they don't have the aspirations to begin with and building on the aspirations has been knocked because of COVID, so I'm not really sure what the effect is going to be. I just feel like it is going to be a, a negative effect on them.